we got quite the bombshell. Remember last week, and I've been covering the rot that is at Activision Blizzard for quite some time on this channel. Now we've got a new report. Remember how their co-CEO president quietly stepped down? They they, they hired a uh, strong independent whammon who don't need no man. Um, well, she quit almost immediately. And now we know why. Absolutely brutal news uh, coming out of Activision Blizzard. New employee walkouts scheduled, demands for Activision CEO Bobby Kotick to resign, and a revelation that Activision CEO uh, uh, issued threats to his assistant, and so much more. We're going to get into all of that right after this quick word from MetaPCs. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, MetaPCs. Now I know you're not gonna run out and quick buy a brand new computer just because I ran this ad, but what I would hope is that you'll keep MetaPCs in mind for a variety of reasons and use my promo code, THEQUARTERING, to save big at checkout. Look, MetaPCs offers custom configurations. It has insane parts availability. They're one of the few people I see out there with the brand new NVIDIA 3090 in stock and shipping. When you buy from them, they offer you build photos as they work along. When you receive your PC, it's ready to go out of the box. It's 100% US-based sales and support. And one of my favorite things, it's a veteran owned business. Meta PCs is veteran owned. One of Meta's owners has served in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a purple heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in the Meta Operations Center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. Meta PCs also offers financing. Head on over to MetaPC at MetaPCs.com. Use code THEQUARTERING at checkout to save money and support my content. If nothing else, go configure a PC, build a little wish list, and when you're ready, remember to use code THEQUARTERING at checkout at MetaPCs. I know I'll be getting myself a brand new one before the end of the year. Check out MetaPCs.com. Hey, you might not be in the market right now. Maybe you're not a gamer. Either way, MetaPCs has you covered when you're ready. And uh, they're a strong supporter of this channel, so check them out. Activision Blizzard employees to walk out, demand CEO step down. Employees at the beleaguered video game company Activision Blizzard are walking out Tuesday after details emerged in a Wall Street Journal report that CEO Bobby Kotick knew about the misconduct claims at the company and didn't inform his board of directors for years. This is massive. Massive. Because you're going to get huge, um, uh, huge lawsuits. Look what's happening too. Do you think somebody knew about this report yesterday? Do you think? Do you think? Boo! Massive drop today. Five percent drop. This is huge. He's probably going to be out. The total number of employees walking out is unclear. Though one current employee estimated to be about 200, uh, in a video message Tuesday morning, Bobby Kotick responded, telling employees that there's an article today that paints an inaccurate and misleading view of our company, of me personally and my leadership. Anyone who doubts my conviction to the most to be the most welcoming, inclusive workplace doesn't really appreciate how important it is to me. A number of Activision Blizzard employees declared on Twitter that they would stop working Tuesday and advance demands, including that Bobby Kotick be replaced as the CEO and the company to uh, be reviewed by a worker appointed third party. Those who work from home plan to pause work to join in solidarity with employees who are meeting up at noon Pacific in front of Irvine, California campus for a physical walkout. This is the second employee walkout the company has seen in just five months. Jessica Gonzalez, a senior tech analyst for Battle.net in Blizzard Entertainment, first posted at Twitter at 9.43 a.m. that she was walking out and calling for the resignation of Kotick. Chief Administration Officer Brian Bolato and Corporate Affairs Vice President Francis Townsend. This is a big ask. These are like the three biggest wigs at the company. We all think Bobby's not leading like he should, Gonzalez told the Post in a phone interview last week. He's trying to do the minimum possible to get people off his back. I don't feel like he's in touch with game development and having a weird crunch and exploitation of labor in this industry. It's just not how you make a good product. 
this is why you're not getting the best products you can from Blizzard. This is why you're getting delays from Blizzard. I don't blame the individual employees. I know a lot of them watch my videos. I don't blame you. I can't imagine what it would be like when you work in a place that is this chaotic and under this much duress all the time. Like, how do you stop to focus on actually doing your job? The statement of the Post, Blizzard wrote, we are disappointed in the Wall Street Journal's report, which presents a misleading view of Activision Blizzard on our CEO. Instances of misconduct that were brought to his attention were acted upon. The Wall Street Journal ignores important changes underway to make the industry's most welcoming and inclusive workplace. A current Activision employee who requested for anonymity uh, for retaliation, fear of retaliation, says, I've long been afraid to return to the office as I knew both Bobby and Brian had threatened or used intimidation tactics in the past. Seeing it in text form from other people validates everything. Zoiks. Zoiks. Here's one particularly horrifying story about Bobby's own bad behavior. In 2006, one of his assistants complained that he was mean to her, including by threatening her in a voicemail to have her ended. According to people familiar with the matter, he settled the matter out of court. Another, in 2007, he was sued by a flight attendant on a private jet he co-owned. The flight attendant claimed the plane's pilot had uh, harassed her after she complained to the owner, Mr. Kotick, fired her. The defendants denied the allegations and separate action related to legal fees in the case. An arbitrator citing what he said was sworn testimony wrote that Mr. Kotick told the flight attendant and her attorneys, attorneys, I'm going to destroy you. A spokesman for Mr. Kotick denied that he said that. In 2008, they settled by paying the attendant 200 grand, according to the arbiter's, arbitrator's decision. A spokesperson for Mr. Kotick said he could not have fired her in retaliation for complaining because she never complained to him directly. The Wall Street Journal also reports that Kotick himself was the one who drafted the widely criticized letter that was supposedly written by Activision Blizzard executive Francis Townsend. Townsend, a woman, was publicly shamed and saw calls for her resignation. In another letter shared publicly shortly after, Kotick apologized for, quote, the Townsend letter, saying, our initial response to the issue we faced together as your concerns were, quite frankly, tone deaf. He apparently did not see fit to mention that he drafted it in the first place. Yikes! A company spokesperson appeared to confirm his involvement with the Townsend letter by telling Wall Street Journal that Kotick takes responsibility and regrets his participation. Ms. Townsend should not be blamed for this mistake. A company spokesman appeared to... Con I'm sorry. In a second Kotick memo, he announced that Activision Blizzard, Blizzard had hired independent law firm to review the company's practices. Known union-busting firm, Wilmer, Wilmer Hale. I don't care about that. I don't want to hear about unionizing. Anyway. Another shocking revelation from the Wall Street Journal report is about Jen O'Neill, who stepped down as co-lead in Blizzard three months after taking the role. She was appointed co-head of the studio in August alongside former Xbox executive Mikey Barra and previous Blizzard president J. Allen Brack had left the company. According to the Wall Street Journal, just one month after being appointed, O'Neill wrote an email to the company's legal team saying that she had been harassed by Activision Blizzard and that she was being paid less than Ibarra and that she wanted to resign. I have been tokenized, marginalized, and discriminated against, O'Neill wrote, according to the Wall Street Journal. The summary only scratches the surface of what's included in the actual report. Zoiks. Zoiks. Imagine thinking I'm going to pay the Wall Street Journal. Imagine. Imagine thinking that. Imagine. I mean, you have this article. This is some serious, serious bombshells. This is a, you know, a hugely long article. Its archives are available out there. But, wow. The CEO here, he's, he's gone. He's gone for sure. In their 2020 letter, the female esports employees complained about the feeling of defeat when um, a bad behavior exits the company with positive public farewells. 
Michael Morheim, the former head of Blizzard, sent an email to employees thanking Mr. Kilgore for his many contributions over the last four years. According to the company, the email, some employees said they were taken aback by the praise, particularly given that he had been told not to discuss the circumstances of his departure. In 2020, 30 female employees who worked in Activision eSport divisions wrote an email to their unit leader saying that the female employees have been subject to unwanted touching, demeaning comments, exclusion from important meetings, and unsolicited comments about their appearance. Mr. Kotick was aware of the email, according to the people familiar with the matter, and he ignored it. Absolutely crushing. And the stock is I'm just plummeting. Look at what's happened to the stock in six months. Imagine you bought, if you bought Activision last July, I'm sorry, July 2021, June, July, it was $100 a share. It can now be bought for $66 a share down nearly 30% in that period of time. Down 12.5% in the last month. They had one nice five-day stretch with Vanguard releasing and it's all gone. And it's gone. At this point, my heart goes out to uh, Activision Blizzard employees. Um, Bobby Kotick really probably got to go at this point. And oh, by the way, also fix your spawn points in Vanguard, please. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.